Hi, I'm Wendy with H2O Bungalow. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a basic windowsill. You'll want to choose the style of the windowsill that best fits your home or copy what you already have on other windows. I talk about choices and styles in my article on h2obungalow.com. Today, I'm adding three windowsills, one with craftsman trim, one with no trim and no apron, and one with a small apron to show you the difference. I'm also sending out a big thank you to Homerate Super Finish Max Paint Sprayer for sponsoring this project. And remember, you can read more and download the post and instructions on my website. You'll need a miter saw, a jigsaw, a sander, a brad nailer, which is optional, and a measuring tape. I used Select Pine Construction Adhesive, 200 grit sandpaper, and of course you'll need your safety gear. To get started, you'll remove the curtains, shutters, and any window hardware first. Our home originally had tile window sills. You can see I tried to chip them off, but really it was easier just to add the sill right over top. If you're removing window sills, a box cutter will break the caulk and you can pry them off with a mallet, a chisel, or a heavy duty flathead screwdriver. Next, you'll measure the width and the depth of your window sill. You'll check for items that will limit the choices on trim or aprons. If you're working on several windows, it helps to diagram each one out before you start. I used a miter saw to cut the window sills to length. It helps to keep track of each sill if you're cutting several. Choose the best side for the top of the sill and mark the back of the board so you'll know which window it was meant for. For the small bath window, I decided to add a simple apron under the window sill with a little molding cut on a 45 degree angle. I finished the edges like this. Next, you'll cut the sill ledge and you'll shape it with a jigsaw. Measure in from the end the length of the sill that will extend beyond the window. For the craftsman style window, it extends out five inches and is square. Use a jar or a cup to trace a rounded edge. Next, you'll mark the depth of the window sill. Mine is four and three quarters inch deep. I used my multi-tool for an easy marking guide. And then cut it out with a jigsaw using a high tooth blade for smooth cuts. Check to be sure each window sill fits in the window. You may need to clean out a little bit more of the sill area to allow the sill to lay flat, or you may need to shave a little off the sill. Be conservative. It only takes a small amount at a time, and also keep in mind that windows and walls are often not square, especially in older homes. Once my sills were all cut and fitted, I finished the trim. I used wood glue to put together the apron for the small bath window and wood glue with my brad nailer to assemble the top of the craftsman trim. You'll want to sand any rough edges and ends before painting. I used a random orbital sander with 220 grit sandpaper. And always remember to wear your safety goggle and a respirator or face mask when sanding. I used my Super Finish Max paint sprayer because I wanted a perfect finish and to save time while painting. This is what you'll need, a Super Finish Max paint sprayer, an extra Finish Max paint container, the paint, drop cloths, respirator, and safety goggles. I also used an extra container of water, paint stirs, and plenty of painter's rags. Elevate the sills on boards over a drop cloth in a well-ventilated area. I used small blocks of wood under my sills so the edges wouldn't pull paint and wreck the finish. Operating a Super Finish Max is easy. You'll adjust the paint flow by turning the paint flow dial by the handle. Choose a horizontal or vertical spray pattern by spinning the spray nozzle. Start the paint sprayer by depressing the trigger and always do a test spray and adjust the paint flow as needed before painting. Paint with a slow back and forth movement using your arms instead of your wrists to move the paint sprayer. Be sure to get the sides, the tops, and the two ends. The Super Finish Max blows air, so be careful on the small trim that it doesn't blow it off the wood blocks. 
When you're done with your first coat, run clear water through the Super Finish Max to rinse it and set it aside while you wait for that coat to dry. Once that coat is dry to the touch, put the paint container back on, run a test spray to clear out the water, and apply a second coat of paint. Take this time to check for any thin spots or areas you've missed. Once the sills are dry, you'll apply a construction adhesive to the window sill and place the sill in position. I added shims to the chipped off areas on the sill for more surface area to grip. You probably won't need this though. Place the sill in the window making sure it lays flat. You can add a few brad nails if your window is framed in wood. Ours is block and concrete, so the adhesive is all I used. If you're adding an apron or trim to your windowsill, add it next. For the Craftsman trim, I started with the apron, then added the two sides, and then the top last. The final step is to caulk the edges and gaps around the windowsill, your apron, and any trim you've added. Again, you can download the complete set of instructions and my supply list from my blog post at h2obungalow.com. Search windowsill. There's also a link in the description of this video as well. If you liked my project, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my blog while you're there too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next creative DIY project from H2O Bungalow.